Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutin. Today let's watch another brilliant chess game of great Vasily Ivanchuk. And not only of Vasily Ivanchuk, because I have games between Vasily Ivanchuk as a white and another great chess player, Alexander Morozovich. I remember time uh, when uh, these two guys belong to top chess players on the world and every their chess games used to be beautiful beautiful fight so let's come back to late 1990s and exactly let's watch this game Vasily Ivanchuk as a white and Alexander Morozevich as a black and uh, let's say well done to both players for this beautiful chess game my name is Petr Koutny and let's start let's enjoy and let's watch this video till end because at the end you will see how Vasily Ivanchuk um, Vasily Ivanchuk is going to checkmate a black king. That's exactly the story of this game and that's exactly the reason why to watch this video. And if I'm right and you are going to watch beautiful chess game and good chess video, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. Now why took it on c5 and at that time it was normal to take uh, this pawn by a bishop and theory should tell you that okay this is a double edge position everything is possible nothing is impossible right but uh, let's come back because exactly here uh, black surprised mm, white and he took it by knight i i'm not sure if this move is the best move here at this position but that's happened and uh, white decided to go for a short castle looks like that uh, after both short castle uh, this position is solid and it's hard to imagine that we are going to watch a beautiful chess attack yes uh, white will attack black king and mainly because of this pawn f4 pawn has energy to go one day to f5 or to f6 and of course uh, think about this pawn if uh, one pawn is going ahead the second pawn should follow him and it's not impossible to believe that white will start attack uh, bishop d7 happened make a sense to bring another piece to game a3 and bishop e8 uh, after this move bishop e8 what uh, looks uh, really strange uh, white has idea to play something like f6 or a five and maybe to exchange he's a typical bad and passive French bishop yes uh, if anybody of you are playing uh, French defense usually you have big big issues what to do with this passive light squares bishop and it's uh, one of the best plan in French defense to exchange this bishop so that's the plan behind this strange looking move and uh, after this move it's a simple fruit that uh, white believe in attack you know if white is going to win to Ivan he should go one day to g3 and of course he is looking to king on g8 so this is a not a boring game because black decided to play rook c8 okay maybe should play d4 but the answer is rook d1 and there is no fork so that's um, of course good to see and good to remember that uh, this move it's not working for black and maybe f6 it was not a bad with idea to to change uh, this bad uh, lie squares bishop but uh, black decided to go rook c8 and uh, rook d1 immediately uh, white is going to stop any threats with move d4 and fork okay uh, now black played to c7 and b4 uh, maybe this is a strange move why is good for white to play move b4 but at least uh, white is attacking this say the the most active black piece and this is one of the most typical chess plan if you can attack your best opponent's pieces just do it because attack is much more stronger than defense and before okay it was good it's a mistake to believe that knight e4 is a good move I will tell you that this is a nearly losing move why because uh, white will take on uh, e4 and now pawn on e4 uh, it's it's looking like 
Hmm, in big danger, it's hard to defend this pawn. So, if anything else, then I think that the knight d8 makes sense because if this pawn is falling down, this pawn, this pawn is falling down as well. But you are going much more deeper of this variation here. I am absolutely sure that this position is beautiful for white. Two bishops and amazing knight on d6. So, that was only reason why knight e4 it's not a good move and even a good looking move should be a mistake so if you are playing chess you have to be careful and the best move here is knight d7 knight b5 and now bishop d3 bishop d3 it's not only defending pawn on c2 but of course is looking to h7 and that's exactly the target of white's attack to attack black's king you know black's army is too too far to be active and you know black pieces are typical passive in french defense french defense is usually strong solid defense but sometimes a space and sometimes White's activity is giving a black headache and uh, this is a not good position for black. F6 first active move and queen h4. Yes, uh, this is a very easy threat. Checkmate on h7. So um, black played f5. Black closed everything and now is up to white. If a white will find the energy or power to open position and to open position, white should only be move g4. But before he will play move g4, he has to be careful to not lose a queen, make a sense to check our opponent's threats, and for this reason, one extra move is not bad. Anyway, here. It was beautiful move, uh, bishop on a7. How is possible that such a not possible move is working? Uh, I think that uh, this variation will give you answer. In case black is taking on h4, okay, white is taking queen. Uh, I think that at the end uh, there's extra pawn for white. Yes, extra pawn in the end game. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good chance to believe that White is nearly winning. But of course, that's not only one variation. Exactly here, uh, Black should go uh, Queen A8, and um, at the end, still, even uh, this position maybe is not immediately lost for Black. Black is pawned down, nearly without any compensation, and I think that. Uh, I don't believe that uh, black will survive here. Uh, maybe b6 makes sense, another pawn, and uh, even uh, this position looks like, okay, black survive everything. I think that black will not survive any end games because b4 is past pawn and it's only four moves from the winning square b8. That's a good position and, okay, good position for white and bad position for black and that's another reason. Unfortunately or fortunately, uh, white decided to go to h3 and uh, black played in knight b6. Okay, this exchange uh, makes sense because white is playing move g4. He's attacking and he's uh, telling the simple through. I'm going to checkmate black's king. And of course, he's right. If uh, black is taking on g4, that's a checkmate in two. So black has to be careful. Uh, maybe the best move here, and I believe that uh, this move should work, is bishop g6. But uh, knight d4, exchange, exchange. And uh, this is a bad position. Even one more time, black is not losing immediately, but the difference between white species and black's army, uh, it's uh, such a huge that um, everybody, everybody will see that uh, white is not far from winning position.
But uh, okay, I think g4, g6 make a sense and white has to open position. It's a good time of this game to remember. If you attacking opponent's king, you have to open position. Somehow you have to open position because if there is no open position, there is no belief that we have chance to attack opponent's king and for this reason uh, white is going to open position and now he played rook f2. Of course, his plan is to bring every piece to attack. He has to bring his forces uh, as close as possible to main, to main um, squares. Uh, from there he will attack Black's king and knight d8, knight d4 and uh, now rook g2. Of course, in the air should be some sacrifices on f5, one day on g6 or say on h7. So yes, of course, this position is still not open yet and has to be opened. White knows that he has to sacrifice peace, but has to be sure that his um, attack will not be stopped. So he has to be careful and after knight c3, knight h4, of course, first goal is to <laughs> sacrifice something on g6. Uh, black has to be careful and for example, uh, rook g8 uh, should not stop to take on f5. Now check on g8 and uh, this is a hard position for black to survive. Maybe we will see a similar position in our game, but uh, let's think about this position. Even uh, black is piece up, uh, you know, black's king is in a huge danger, h7 pawn is in a danger and maybe uh, bishop on e7 is another danger. So I still believe that even this position should be double edge. It's hard to play for black. Right, so let's come back because we will see another typical position soon. Knight c6 happened and knight e6, uh, rook g8 and finally now uh, white decided to sacrifice his knight. Every time when we have chance to see such a beautiful sacrifice, it's a good time to tell to ourselves that chess is a beautiful game because you know this move looks like impossible but everybody knows that this move is coming sooner or later it's only a um, matter of time uh, here maybe rook should take on d3 i will show why not uh, because here is a beautiful checkmate checkmate on h7 uh, black will take by king and checkmate on h3 yes uh, you know black's king is naked he is weak and he's alone and uh, black's queen on b8 is too far to help him and uh, that's the reason why everything is working very well for Vasily Ivanchuk. Beautiful French defense attack and I hope that you are enjoying still this game. Stay by me till end because we are not far from to see um, checkmate. So, okay, happened uh, queen c8, uh, rook g3, h5 and uh, that's a question why Mm, white black will not take uh, knight on e6 that's still the same mate check on h7 and checkmate on h3 that's a, that's the reason why uh, black has no chance to take a knight on e6 and he played move h5 but now check on h6 and too many checks and there's no check, sorry, I mean a check because I thought that that's a check, but that's only attack to black's rook and now bishop f5. Wow, another, another threat and for black is nearly impossible to, to solve this difficult position. Okay, he decided to take on g3 and uh, now he played queen b8 and rook took it on d5. What's amazing 
about this position is that watch white species every white piece is doing a great job attacking something and making threats and every black piece is a defending even black is piece up it's a difficult to to solve all threats and to survive maybe computer will survive but for a human this position is mission impossible and this is a nearly a lost position so okay uh, rook h7 why took it on g6 and don't be surprised that after this move black resigned it because they are waiting two checkmates for black one on g7 second on g8 and we are at the end of this beautiful chess game. What do you think about this game? I think that that was a great performance and fantasy of great Vasily Ivanchuk. Even Alexander Morozevich played well, uh, but uh, Chuki was a um, winner of this game. Hopefully you enjoyed this game and if yes, feel free and press like and press follow made my day and I will be happy to see you here next time in our another hopefully interesting chess video. Take care, play chess and uh, stay by me. Thank you. Bye bye.